Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face. And all those chains are back. Fantastic. Are the ones on the doors back? No. I've been in on that side, so how's my health doing? Fine. So let's just take a look at that side. Just keep them on their toes. Let's do it room right here. Doors like that in video games have always bugged me because I haven't the slightest idea how they're meant to be opened. You just push a button and they go. I thought it was a snake. So there's the real question. Do you think they saw the obvious flaw with this design and added the second shield ahead of time? Or do you think it wasn't until someone in QA realized that if you push the button and don't get on, you're trapped with only uh, one platform? I don't know, I suppose you can probably just hit the button again. <laughs> If I hit it a second time while I'm still over here. Yeah, okay, maybe it's for a puzzle or something. We will see. Uh, right after I do this. I mean, technically, you could strand yourself if you opened both jars and then shot 30 darts into the wall for no obvious reason, but, you know. At that point, you're kind of asking for it. So that needs a key. Do I have a key? I don't remember. Uh, no. No, I do not. Challenge shot. Oh my god. It's turning so fucking quickly. Alright, fine. In the last session, I, uh... beat a boss. That horrible demon thing called, uh... I looked it up, it's called Apocalypse. Which seems to be tied into its comment that you cannot stop the apocalypse that runs parallel to Seth's destiny. Hmm. That's why I named the episode that, you see. Apocalypse on Wings. Yeah. Oh, well, that's just unnecessarily complicated. That's extremely video gamey. It's the biggest skeleton yet. This is a shrine for an item of some kind. Oh. I don't understand that, but I'll go along with it. Are this, is this a door? No. This, as far as I can tell, is nothing. Are you metal? Um... Oh. Sorry, Duder. Okay, it's showing over there. Do I have to get one of these guys onto the platforms or something? Are those moving a second ago? 
Oh, you got a skeletal skull, which is extremely... I didn't know I could move the camera when it was frozen like this. Uh, extremely redundant. You got a skeletal grundle. Skeletal skull. The skull of a skeletal axeman. The pelvis of a skeletal, skeletal axeman. You got a skeletal arm. You got a skeletal leg! What a coincidence that this one's written in a language I can read. The bones of the undead must be offered in order from head to toe, from left to right. Well, that appears to be a right arm. Oh, I see, yeah, from head to toe, from left to right. Okay, so, uh, skull. Can't move, there we go. Arm. Crotch. Their tails look slightly less vestigial than humans do. Uh, leg. Well, isn't that clever? I bring up the boss fight, because, uh... After I did that, I got the, uh... The Sacred Crown of Abydos! Yay! Except that, uh, when I did that... Really? That's not a door? A weird-looking thing to not be a door. Hmm. I don't know, I don't feel like wasting fire armadillos on those since last I checked. Uh, I don't know, I did spend a bunch of money recently, didn't I? Yeah. Whoa! My leg. Uh, how do I know when he's flashing yellow? Worshipper. Skeletal Axemen first. Watch out for these undead axe-wielding warriors. They can use their weapon as a boomerang, and even call upon a protective shield which encases them until their axe returns. And, you know, I appreciate the warning, but these were the first enemies I ever fought. Able to pass through solid forms, they move with the swiftness of a winter cloud and attack as if from nowhere. Save projectile weaponry for elsewhere, as they will pass straight through the Dark Worshipper. Oh, 
I brought it up because when I got the crown, I got an achievement that said, completed chapter one, and my heart sank. I mean, I don't mind a game being longer than I expected it to be, except that it's uh, October the 6th today. And, uh... I was really hoping to get to uh, a spooky game for Halloween. Nothing? No? That one's set aside from the others. Maybe it's important. I was wrong. It's just more money. Out of curiosity. Huh. Sorry. I just felt rude then. Found a Rosetta Stone piece. Aha! The archaeologists will be very interested in this. This one I'm also checking out because, let's face it, it's behind a locked door. I guess I'd gotten lucky the uh, last bunch of years that I always managed to be able to have my schedule free right before Halloween. Some of them cut it really close, but I always managed to do it. Twenty more dollars. I don't understand that at all. I mean, maybe I'm, you know, worrying for nothing. Maybe the game only has three chapters. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and assume I can't jump over that. Uh, yep, okay, invisible wall at the top. Hmm. This is interesting, there should clearly be that! Aha! In the track. I wonder if that's to prevent the player from crushing themselves, cutting away like that. Puzzles go, this one wasn't especially mind racking. Now, to be clear, uh, one way or another, I intend to, uh, come on, damn it. that one up. Oh. 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 Sayonara, sucker. Oh. Uh, hello there. Awkward or about it or anything, but uh, yes, good. This looks like a gate, but there's li clearly nothing in there. Hmm. I don't know why they didn't just open that instead of having this thing come out. Try this one first, since I'm standing right next to it. 
Hmm. How long have you been in there? Death! You found a Rosetta Stone piece. Yeah, to be clear, I do intend to play the spooky game following uh, Sphinx and the Curse Mummy no matter how long it takes, even if it does go into November. But I'm contemplating uh, contingency plans. You know, since it's always good to have such things. hoping for health, but whatever. Like, uh, maybe if it gets to, say, the 29th, and I'm certain that I won't be able to finish it in the next day, uh, I'll put Sphinx on hold, do a few episodes of the new series, and then go back to finish off Sphinx. Or maybe I'll just start alternating between them. Um... You know, go back and forth between Sphinx and the new game until I finish Sphinx, and then just focus on the new game. Or, you know, I could, uh... I can do that. No! I don't have the health to spare for this. Still dead. Hmm. I was also considering the idea of, uh... When it's Halloween Day, if I'm still doing Sphinx, I could, uh... Take that day to, uh... You know, play something else. Something Halloween-themed. Got a couple of, uh... Less substantial things. That, uh... I think might fit nicely there. For example, I could take a look at uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Since I'm told that game uh, is uh, quite short. Have I been over there before? Yes. Yes? I don't understand. Stand. Wait, where the hell am I? Is, that's where I did the bone thing, right? How did I get here? I came into this room through that door, didn't I? My goodness, I'm confused just now. Right, I'm gonna go look over there just to make sure. Yeah, so Halloween day I could play uh, something short and unrelated. And uh, then after that, go back, finish Sphinx, and then play a proper spooky game. Yes, I've definitely been here. I must admit, I'm very confused with the other thing. Must have come into this chamber from some other entrance. And it looked different when I came in through, uh... Hmm. Well, fuck it. Let's put the key in that one. See how it goes. Oh. 
Yeah, so we gotta confirm. Well, that's all well and good, except I can't go there. Or maybe... Does this one go all the way around? It does. Cool. Oh, what the fu- You didn't grab the edge or anything. Suddenly realized that I might be able to get across there and thought I wouldn't wait for the platforms to line up again. So one of these has got to have a monster in it. again. See you in hell. We'll find out what Rosetta Stone piece is in there on the next episode. As well as, as, well as what lies in these two rooms, but uh, I'm calling this episode here. Let me know in the comments what you think of my contingency plans. Who knows, I might think of something completely different to all three of those plans. But, uh... In the meantime, uh, give me a shout. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, Burning Dog fans. Later!